to install a Tor Pro brake controller in your vehicle, you have to find a good mounting position for your Tor Pro unit first inside the cab. So the Tor Pro unit has to be away from dust, water, mud, and all these sort of things. Uh, you have to make sure it is mounted properly. It cannot rattle around and it cannot move around. It has to be properly mounted. There is your wiring harness. There's literally four wires to it. 12 volt positive, which must go to your start battery. Earth, battery negative, which can go to a dedicated chassis ground or directly back to the negative of the battery. Your blue cable, which is your trailer braking signal output, which goes to pin five of the trailer plug, which is your blue wire. And then your red wire, which is your brake light input signal, uh, which goes to the brake light, which must go after any trailer plug module that's been installed. The reason buying that is there's an input into a trailer plug module and an output must go, must be connected to after the, after the module between that and the trailer plug. That's basically all there is, four wires. Then on the other side, you've got your hideaway dash connector, which connects straight into the other side of the unit. Clips in like that. And then that unit plugs into your, your dial dash, which just goes into the unit here. It's all hidden away. And then you've got your dash signal and you dial that up to what you need. So you've got the dial where you can set the brake force and you can also change the mode that you are in. And Red Arc supplies a lot of different switch inserts for all types of different vehicles to make it easier to install your remote. Now, after you've installed everything, which we have done here now, you can test it. And if you don't have a trailer there to test it, what you can use is a globe, some test leads, and what you can do then is you connect one side of the globe with the black cable. It doesn't really matter which way around, it's just a globe, but just to make it right. And you go to pin number one, two, three, because that is ground on the trailer plug. And the other side, you go to pin number five. One, two, three, four, five. And once you've done that, the Tor Pro now thinks that there's a trailer connected to the trailer plug. The Tor Pro has now turned on. If I would disconnect the globe, that would turn off again. And when you connect it for the first time, you see it's flashing green and blue. That means that the unit hasn't really figured out in which position it is mounted yet. If you take the car for a drive now with the trailer behind it, after you've braked for the first 10, 20 times, the unit will actually realize where down is, where forward and where reverse is. It needs to know that for the proportional braking system. If you want to switch from proportional mode to manual mode, you put the dial to zero, press on the brake and press twice really quickly. I think you have to press twice within a second. So just do it like this with the computer mouse. And now it's gone from proportional mode to manual mode. That means that now, whatever you set the dial to, the trailer will always brake with that brake force. If you have it in proportional mode, it will brake proportional to the amount of brake force sensed from the vehicle. So there's an acceleration sensor in that unit. You step on the brake, it senses how hard the vehicle brakes and proportional to that, it applies the brake of the trailer to a maximum of what you've dialed this to. That works really well on roads. Off-road, the manual mode works better, especially if you want the brakes to lock up on the trailer. Manual mode is also really great for testing. Okay, so Reese pressed the brake, and now we will dial up the dial, and you'll see the globe coming on. It's maximum brake force, and now he dials it back. And now he's dialing it back all the way to zero. And that's your test done. Reese, can you get off the brake and just use the button and press the override function? Yeah, dial it up as well so we can see. Cool, release the button. Perfect, that was the override function. As you can see on the override function, the brake lights have come on as well.
on this vehicle that is correct because we tap directly into the bright light circuit 70 series Land Cruiser that doesn't matter on other vehicles you would tap in like Dale said before behind the little control unit so the brake lights on the vehicle wouldn't come on only the ones on the trailer come on that way but yeah this one's all tested and good to go